Okay, so just doing a short video on um, pedal cadence. Uh, I've got a 36 volt motor. I was going to use a, a 10S and 14S just to compare. And um, just looking at the pedal cadence, it's uh, item 4.1. So I'll get it into that um, that mode. You can see that's flashing there. So there's 4.1. So we're in um, pedal cadence at the moment. Um, so I'm using version 20 beta 1, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, so the other thing we want to do is go into the configuration menu. Item 0, uh, number 3. So basic setup, number 3. And we just want to use the... Um, I'm just going to turn it back to uh, 36 volt motor at the moment. So you press the two buttons to get into the menu. Now we're in menu zero, so we'll get into there. And then three is the motor type. At the moment, I've got it on experimental, but I'll get into that and I'll change it back to 36 volt motor, which is number one. Okay, so, okay. All right, so pedal cadence. Let's have a look. Hopefully you can see that. Now I'm just gonna do it in the low gear. I don't really wanna break any speed records here. Uh, you can see there it's reading about 56, 57. Um, I want to do this kind of going uphill, so I'll go all the way to the other side. So you can see there, I'm actually... Um, that's really weird. Okay, I'm just going to slow down. So you can hear me there. So I actually got it up to about 120, but the motor cut out at 90. So let's have another look at that. Motor's in and out now. So motor's sort of cutting in and out at about 96, um, which is a little bit higher than I would have thought. Let me try it again down the other way. So yeah, it cut out about um, just over 90, 94 that time, but I think there's like a little bit of lag in the display as well. So anyway, I'm going to go back to menu 03 and change it back to 3, which is the experimental mode, and we'll see what happens. So get in there, and all right, let's your cadence there again. So I'll just get up to the top of the road. Anyway, you can see well there, it's it's already at 103 and it wasn't cutting out. Yeah, so it's, look, it's not, it's not providing a lot of power at uh, over 115, but it is still providing some sort of power. All right, so that's at 10S. I'm gonna leave everything as it is, and I'm just gonna plug in a 4S battery in series. You can see what I've done here. Um, I've set one up sort of underneath. I've made up a little uh, cable so that I could splice it in here, and we will have to change the menu to accept the 14S battery, so just bear with me while I do that. Okay, so this is... Um, this is the motor side, so I've made a plug that goes in there and this is battery one and this is battery two. So I've kind of made it so that it puts these batteries in series and now we're actually running 14S. All we've got to do is go into the battery uh, config menu which is menu one. So I'll just power up. Just get on this here. Okay, get in there, Nine. okay, this is where we go 10S, so we've got to change that to 14S, okay, bang, we'll get in there, get out, I should really cycle through the battery, shouldn't I, just to prove that we are actually 14S, 
There we are, we're at 56.7 volt. So let me just get back to cadence, which is 4.1. I'm leaving the assist levels the same, everything else the same. And I've left it in um, high cadence mode for the test because um, we know that there is a, actually a software cutout at 90 RPM. So it doesn't really matter what voltage you're running, the, the software will, will cut you out. And that's the reason for the uh, high cadence mode. Uh, that software limit is um, removed. So, and the timing has changed a little bit as well. Anyway, let's give that another go. Yeah, so it's holding, um, actually that's really good. Okay, that's really good. It's actually holding, um, giving uh, sufficient power at, at 128 cadence, which is uh, well above what I think most people would want. So it looks like we've got a bit of a boost um, using the extra 4S. So we've got like a usable cadence of about 115. Um, and with the 14S, we've got usable cadence of up to 128, which is really cool. So I'm, I'm happy with the 120, uh, but you guys might want to do some overclocking, it's fine. You can actually notice quite a bit of extra power. Um, when I push down, it, it actually feels more powerful. So I should have been looking at the power figures as well, which is uh, just up the top here. Uh, yeah, it's actually... Look, I'm up to... So yeah, with the 14S battery, with the 14S battery, I was able to just get 880 watts just then, so... Which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, with the 10S, I can only get about 650 watt. So that's another reason to overclock. So I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, what you want to do now you, I have got the temperature sensor installed you can see there it's 28 degrees at the moment it's a cold day uh, of course when you are running uh, high voltages you could possibly get that temperature up uh, a lot more than running lower voltages but then again you are running lower amps it's uh, it's really more about the power anyway I'll leave it up to you guys um, but yeah just thought I'd, I'd show you the difference with uh, with uh, normal 36 volt, experimental 36 volt, and overclocked uh, or over voltage 36 volt. So, all right, thank you.